Hello everyone, this is the installation tutorial for Banner Kings 4, I believe it is, 1.0.1, what is the official game release version. So what we want to do is go to your Steam, go to properties, uh, make sure you're on the local file, not betas, obviously using the previous betas here. You just want to click on none. I mean, there's a... 0 0.2 beta, oh, that's a small patch notes here. Go over that soon. Um, so what we're going to do is make sure that is done. Make sure you verify your files. So what we're going to do, is it is going to come on the Steam Workshop soon. But right now, it's only in the manual download according to the mod creator. So what we want to do is go to Nexus Mods. You're going to need a few mods downloaded. So what we want to do is go to Files here. Click on Manual Download for both Banner Kings and Banner Kings Assets. So next, what you want to do is click on Manual Download. You need Butterlib Harmony Mod Configuration Menu, Open Source Armory, and UI Extender EX. So for Open Source Armory, you, you click on that, and it brings you here. You can download Open Source Armory here. You can download these others, but once again, there's massive files. We do need just the base Open Source Armory. So you can click on that. No other files are needed for that. So once you are done downloading that, if you can, you can download the other mods by opening them up, say for example, Harmony, you can download manually as well. But for those who um, want an easier installation, you can go to Steam Workshop and then you can sort by basically most downloaded of all time. You're gonna have Harmony, UX Center, Butterlib, and Mod Configuration Menu, which that should cover all the mods you do do need downloaded aside from Armory, which I believe isn't on here. I just checked. So once those are downloaded, you are going to have a files. Make sure you download them all in one spot. You're going to have a few files here. So we're going to start off with open source Armory, and this is going to apply for both Banner Kings and Banner Kings assets. You want to click on properties. You want to click on unblock, unblock the files, which will keep any deals or anything from not working. So next, you can um, once you can go to properties. I do have 7-Zip and Salt, not WinRAR, but it should work with WinRAR. You want to extract the folder. It is now extracting. So I'm going to be right back when I do that the exact same thing with properties and extracting for both Banner King's assets and Banner King's base mod. I hope. Okay, so my mod folders have all been extracted as we can see here. <clears throat> You're going to have assets inside as well. So what we want to do is go back to Steam since we are manually installing. Go to your Mountain Blade Banner Lord. Click right click on Properties. Go to Local Files here. You're going to click on Browse. We're going to notice you're going to click on Modules here. Um, if you do install through Steam, it is not going to be in this folder here. It is in a different folder. But as you can see, I do have other mods installed. But it's all on the same game version. What I do recommend is deleting Banner Lord, reinstalling Banner Lord, Deleting all the other files and documents, and I'm doing a clean install, verifying your files. But if you don't want to do that through your data cap or slow internet, um, I suggest maybe just delete the mod files and verify. Make sure it's everything's clean, uninstalled, and whatnot. What we're going to want to do is, since we have these three mods, we're going to put Banner King assets. Oh my bad, not Banner King assets. We have Banner Kings inside Banner Kings. You can see here. Drag that into here. While that is transferring over, we need the exact same thing with open source armory. So open up the file you extracted and you're going to see the main file. Drag that in here as well. And that's going to be copying over. And I believe assets we drop into the Banner Kings folder. So we're going to do that and drop it into the Banner Kings folder. I believe if that is correct. So I'm gonna be back when my files are done moving. So give me a second. And we're back and my files do have and are in the folder here. Um, one thing I, w I did notice is if you go to, I think requirements, it will tell you the minimal requirements for mods. So those who are having issues with Butterlib, Harmony, and uh, other mods in the future, it will tell you what versions you need to minimize any problems. Not guaranteeing it will work still or not work. So now that we have 
our mods installed, we're going to go back to Steam and we're going to launch the game to show what we need to do in what order that it should be put in. I'm pretty sure there's no specific mod order. I believe not, but we'll just do this in general. So as you can see here, uh, for those who are new to mod installations, it's Harmony first. Always Harmony first. I believe game will tell you if it wants these in a specific order but I, i've never run into an issue having it in this order next you want to have your, your native file so all of those above native and for banner lord kings open source armory i'm going to <clears throat> just move this right below birth and death options i want to move my armory here it shouldn't matter because i have no other mods installed but for visual look Right, this is how you should generally should have it. Harmony UI Butterlib mod natives birth death options if you have it if you want it installed. Banner Kings open source armor. What I'm gonna do is when I'll boot the game. So I'll be right back when the game launches. And like 10, 15 seconds later, until the oh I gotta move this over. That's probably why. I paused it. We do have open source armory here. And it's working here. Uh, let's once again let's open up our Task manager, as you can see, it is running. So now our next goal is to show that in game that it actually works and we're able to post into a campaign. So we're gonna do obviously we're gonna save campaign. This is my Realm of Thrones, not Realm of Thrones. Warhammer mod playthroughs. So we're gonna do we're gonna go sandbox first. And we're gonna go to a simple town. The town has apples oranges or any other food then we know that it works okay, we're gonna skip this we're gonna go Valandians we're gonna skip a bunch of stuff and I usually like having my task manager off to the side to check if it works as you can see, this is actually the start menu. Of the kingdoms. So now we know that it actually does is installed. And just to double check that as well. I believe if you go to like misc, you can see. Or in general, depending on where you are, different options. But other than that. I think we do have apples in our inventory. Yes. We had successfully installed the mod manually, uh, not including the files you can download off of man like Harmony from manual on um, Nexus mods or on Steam. If you have any problems, let me know in the comments down below.